But in Vegas, for a girl like Ginger, love costs money. Not just in Vegas. <laughs> Do I cost you a lot of money? <laughs> Although I did make you buy me a smoker, so I can't. Yeah, you did get a new barbecue. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for another one from the Patreon. A Patreon pick. Yep. That's right. The Patreon people voted in the poll. Can you say that fast? Patreon people picked, picked a pack of peppers. So fast. <laughs> They picked Casino. Okay. Martin Scorsese's Las Vegas biopic. It's, like it's a kind of based on a true movie, story right? about uh, what happened in the seventies in Las Vegas mm. casinos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The behind the scenes, mafiosos. I wish you would say it like you had confidence <laughs> that you were actually saying it right. <laughs> you always like say it with just like a. Is it? Is that the right word? I don't know. I always know it's the right word because it's whatever word I mean to say. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I've actually seen this, but it's been like probably since it came out since I've seen it. But okay. it's kind of like this is kind of a partnership movie that goes well with uh, Goodfellas that we watched. They're kind of considered, they're not sequels, but thematically, you know, similar. similar. So, okay. Yeah. So it'll be like a first time watch because I haven't watched it in forever. So it'll be fun. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. It's a classic. Well, should we jump in and roll the dice with Casino? Please don't ever do that again. <laughs> what? I like it when you do it. <laughs> like you like roll the dice. Yeah, keep on doing it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. watch this movie. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us if you feel like hanging out with a bunch of idiots. Yeah, roll the dice. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, fully commentary, access to polls, up big way to watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram, so if you're into that, join us. And if you're not into that, you don't have to join us. Nope. Just ignore it. Yep. Let's watch Casino. Here we go. Nineteen eighty three. That is a salmon. Pink suit. That's the kind of love I had. Well, that escalated quickly. That was a short movie. Well, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> I was into that pink on pink, too. That salmon. That was cool color. Apparently it offended somebody. Mm. The flamingos. Don Rickles. His name would be cool if it was Ron Pickles. <laughs> yeah. Totally would. Dick Smothers. <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> it's, an, it's an actual name. Dick Smothers. Oh, man. You're such a 13-year-old. <laughs> Who couldn't laugh at that? I didn't. <laughs> oh, shit. It's <laughs> all been there. Nobody knew all the details, but it should have been perfect. I mean, he had me, Nikki Santoro. His Where's uh, Phil? Yeah. It should have been so sweet, too. But it turned out to be the last time that street guys like us were ever given anything that fucking valuable again. And who knows who's going to be coming along in that time? Before you know it, you got. What's he doing with his accent? With his accent, Pesci's accent's weird. Sounds just like him. No, it does not. Sounds like a wet bandit. It's like he's trying to tame down the New York in his accent, but he's not doing it very well. 1973. I hired an old casino pal, Billy Sherbert, as my manager, and I went to work. Ron Pickles. There he is. And it was up to this guy right here, standing in front of about $2 million, to skim the cash off the top. That's a lot of money. 
Now that suitcase was going straight to one place, right to Kansas City. Is this Kansas City, Missouri or Kansas City, Kansas? Ooh, I'm going with Missouri. You don't have to have a license to work in a casino. All you gotta do is apply for one. The state law says that you can work in a casino while they're processing your application. They got a 10 year backlog. But what happens when it's a nice loophole? All you gotta do is keep changing your job titles. They take your application, they put it at the bottom of the pile. I know guys been working there for 30 years, don't have a license. <laughs> they wanted him because Ace ate, slept, and breathed gambling. Is he loading the dice? Testing it to make sure it's balanced. He'd find out the kind of inside stuff nobody else knew, and that's what he put his money on. He'd get the win velocity so he could judge the field goals. He even figured out the different bounce you got off the different kinds of wood they used on college basketball courts, you know? How do you find out that? Oh, well, that's unique, though. Why don't you take that fucking pen and shove it up your ass, you fucking jag off? It doesn't seem necessary. Got a little bit of aggression issues. The pen is mightier than the sword. What happened to the fucking tough guy? Told my friend, stick it up his fucking ass. Huh? Is, he, is he gonna be okay? <laughs> With Ace, the casino never saw so much money. And the bosses, they couldn't be happy. Where does he get his info? You got to keep a clean station. You need Mr. Clean Page, <laughs> right? Won't happen again, Sam. It's Joe Bob Briggs. That's it. Yeah. Welcome on back to You Mean the Booty. Downstairs he takes us for two million, and upstairs he takes free soap, shampoo, and... <laughs> but we got him back. I had our pilot tell him the plane was on the fritz. Oh, so he's got to stay another night. We got him back for the whole floor of rooms to himself. Until he dropped his winnings back and gave up a million of his own cash. <laughs> Jeez. Whoops. The longer they play, the more they lose. In the end, we get it all. So, if you win quick, cash uh, out. Yeah, cash out and go home. Since the players are looking to beat the casino, the dealers are watching the players. And the eye in the sky is watching us all. Interesting. No counting cards. It's a lot of overhead. It's a lot of personnel. They're making lots of money, though. Let's go. This is for Ginger. Come on. This is for Ginger. Let me have a hundred on the hard ten. She's a thief. Get lost? Yes. We'll have a dinner. <laughs> Come Free money. Problem. Troublemaker. I fell in love right there. But in Vegas, for a girl like Ginger, love costs money. Not just in Vegas. <laughs> Do I cost you a lot of money? <laughs> Depends on the kind of girl. I'm not that kind of girl. Although I did make you buy me that smoker, so I can't. Yeah, you did get a new barbecue <laughs> just in time for Thanksgiving. I guess I am that kind of girl. <laughs> Not with jewelry and fur. <laughs> Meat smokers. Yeah. Yeah. Grills and mesquite. Smart hustlers like her could keep a guy awake for two or three days before sending him home broke to the little woman and his banking. Oh, she's a tool for her for them, huh? Was that she could have everything under control except for her old pimp boyfriend, Lester Diamond. A scumbag. And somehow she could never turn him down. The way Ginger saw it, I guess, was that Lester was just an unlucky guy. Somebody had to take care of him. Soft spot. Because Nicky enjoyed being a gangster, and he didn't give a damn who knew it. Nicky was about to be sent to Vegas. There's more. What's that? Huh? What's that? There's no more. Thanks, huh? 
I'll become a Jew or three if you're gonna have to learn how to do your hair. No shit. After we ate, we left Jennifer and Ginger alone and we could- His eyes look weird. Her. Joe Pesci doesn't have blue eyes, does he? I think those are contact lenses. I could be wrong. His eyes just weird to me. I want to get away from back home for a while. I'm tired of that shit back there. That's what his his accent's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like Midwest. Yeah. But he, he's got such a New York accent that he can't cover it. Just sounds weird. Maybe if I stick your fucking face to this window over here, like, you know, you'll, you'll get unconfused. Give me the fucking money. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why you had it ready. You thought I was fucking laying it? Fucking head. Fucking head, huh? Smart man. <laughs> That's why the bosses sent me out here. They wanted me to make sure none of the other crews robbed a joint. Like these two fucking balloon heads over here. They were gonna try to bang us out of 200 fucking grand? Yeah, right, I'm sure. We're waiting on Carmine. Yeah, Carmine. Carmine for Carmine. So I had a suitcase and everything and then he left. Carmine left? Huh? Carmine left. <laughs> I think, you know, maybe he went across the street or somewhere else. Or something. <laughs> you killed Carmine? Take the bag of money he had? You can spot these assholes by watching the way they bet. Like this guy. He's betting lavender chips at 500 each with only one little problem. He's always guessed right. If he wasn't so fucking greedy, he'd have been tough for the spot. Card counter or something? A Mars code? Mm -hmm. I need Mr. Happy. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Oh, they get everybody's attention drawn somewhere else, and then they step in and take the guys off the floor. Cheater's justice. Oh, God. Oh. There you go. Oh. oh, hammer time! <laughs> you can either have the money and the hammer, or you can walk out of here. You can't have both. What do you want? I just want to get out of here. He got off scot free. Mm -hmm. Are you taking the money and the hammer though? Hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to marry you. Want to marry me? She's very pretty. Yeah. Is she the one in Total Recall? Yeah, I'm sure. Her son. But I just don't have those kind of feelings for you. Ouch. That sucks. I knew all the stories, but I didn't give a fuck. I'm Sam Rothstein. I said I can change it. She's just like uh, Jackie O. Seventies. This is the best thing I can do for my life right now. That's right. So it's going to be okay, isn't it? I wish you all the luck in the world. Master manipulator. He knows if she's made, he's made. Mm-hmm. Cool house. It's like the Flintstones house. Yeah. Such a 1970s house. Huge fucking closet. What is it? It's chinchilla. Oh, it's so soft. I'm gonna get you a chinchilla coat. Good. <laughs> so do you think it's too much if I wear these on the same day? <laughs> Be able to get it out. Oh, it's a weird look. No, like she thinks she's gonna take the money and run. She'll be the only person to have total access to the box. No one else, including myself. That's right. That's what you want. That is a gamble, isn't it? 
It was so obvious. I mean, all of Nicky's half-ass mechanics, they were real signal happy. Yeah, I've been open for five months. Of course, you order these non Why are you crying with two loaves of bread on the ground? Nicky thought nobody was watching. Cheating at his buddy's casino. Want to do me a favor? You want to take your feet off the table and put your shoes back on? Fuck you. He runs this place? No. Who was that guy? You called my friend a f You told him to go fuck himself? Is that what you did? I, I told him to go fuck himself? You oh. fucking idiot! <laughs> Joe Pesci's always plays playing unhinged, unhinged guys, right? He took bookie joints off the street and then opened them up inside the casino. Well, within a few years, by doing all of this, he had every casino on the strip trying to copy off of him. So he invented the old... Cool. Like sports betting in the mm -hmm. Vegas. It's my pleasure to welcome Sam Rothstein to the Vegas Valley Country Club. You should join a country club. Do we have any around here? I don't know. We gotta find time to like go golfing and shit if we join a country club. Hello, Mrs. Rothstein. How are you? You're one of the most gorgeous women I've ever seen. You're a lucky man, Mr. Rothstein. Nice kid. Bright boy. What balls on this fucking kid? The next day I fired him. <laughs> there are three ways of doing things around here. The right way, the wrong way, and the way that I do it. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just do it. You're the slots manager. I shouldn't have to tell you this. <laughs> Dang, you are right, Mr. Rossi. I am so sorry. <laughs> the right way, the wrong way, the way I do it. Nicky managed to get himself banned from every casino in Las Vegas. In other words, I'm fucked. In so many words. But being in this book etched your name into the brains of every cop and FBI agent in the state. Can't even go to Reno now. <laughs> <laughs> and I opened up my own jewelry store too, the Gold Rush. Sometimes I used to go along on the heist just for the fun of it. Jeez. Robbing places and then selling them. Oh. At the jewelry store? Is that the last one? Yeah. I had my kid brother Dominic run it for me. <laughs> Ew. She call it BLS. Huh? Big BL lo big looky sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Sammy said whenever you have a minute, give him a call. Made a messenger out of you too, huh? <laughs> I'll do anything for a I'm gonna get you a Queen of Hearts shirt. Just like that. It's classy. Hey. This is Shelly. Hey, Shelly. Hey. How are you, Hello, Shelly. <sighs> like, eye level for him. Pound that shit for two days. It'll never, ever get tender, you know what I mean? <laughs> the zipper must have been caught. She's just helping get it unstuck. <laughs> I gave you money to pay the fucking rent and buy groceries, put the heat on. His eyes are brown now. How many of these are you gonna eat, Dad? Two. Two? But around six. I want breakfast now. Sounds good. For two days and two fucking nights, we beat the shit out of this guy. I mean, we even stuck ice picks in his balls. You better hope he can. Yep. Tell me! you, huh? Oh, God. Pop his head like a blueberry. Yikes. Maybe more. Three fucking jackpots in 20 minutes? Why didn't you pull the machines? Why didn't you call me? Well, it happened so quick. Three guys won. I didn't have a chance to I've been carrying your ass in this place ever since I got it. Get your ass and get your things and get out of here. <laughs> you can't just fire him. Webb's his brother in law. He's county commissioner. So what? Everybody out here with cowboy boots is a fucking county commissioner. <laughs> what? Look at that. Look at, look at this. There's nothing. Look how many blueberries your muffin has and how many mine has. <laughs> now, what are you talking about? It's like everything else in this place. You don't do it yourself, it never gets done. He's gonna make his own fucking blueberry muffin? Do you know how long that's going to take? I don't care how long it takes. Put an equal amount in each muffin. <laughs> I mean, I do like a muffin with lots of blueberries <laughs> in it. <laughs> well, I need more than that. I need 25,000. 25,000? For yourself? Yeah. Why do you need that much? What's the difference? I just need it. Well, I mean, she wants to give it to Lester. <laughs> I feel so bad. You're asking me for twenty-five thousand. I'm not out to make you feel bad. I want to just be able to trust you. 
I'd like $25,000. What's it for? <laughs> Just to put in my bank account. Oh. I'll think about it. <laughs> as soon as we have that kind of money, we'll do it. <laughs> oh, she's skimping it from the bank. It's her money. To, like, bail him out of jail or something, right? Fucking course it's for Lester. Get the fuck up and get out of here. And you want to be free. You are too good, much too good for a nobody like me. Piece of shit. That's bullshit. You gonna leave his money? He left it, yeah. It's not his fault! It's my fault! Oh, you're both at fault. He's just a friend of mine. I was trying to help, so so what? $25,000 is a lot of help. Yeah. It's a Gemini. A triple Gemini. Duality. <laughs> Gemini's a snake. You know, you can't trust a snake. Gemini's a twin, isn't it? Whatever. It's not exactly like I'm sleeping with the guy and he makes me sneak around to see my own friends. Only He only makes you sneak around to see the friends that make you pay them $25,000 at a time. Thanks. Stop kissing him. Mr. Rothstein, County Commissioner Pat Webb is here to see you. <laughs> Good looking. So I sit at my desk when I'm working. <laughs> the shoes too. Go back many, many years, my friends. Vote. Look at that turquoise. Family and money. Vote. Big old stone. Huge piece of turquoise. I want it as a personal favor if you think some more, I'll hire him back. I can't do that. Put him in the kitchen or something. <laughs> you ain't home. But that's where we're going to send you if it hair lips the governor. Very polite threat. He's wearing a gun on his hip, wasn't he? Of course. A little holster. I had a three month supply. What'd you do with him? <laughs> I had to beat him up. You're still on this? You don't need that stuff, and you don't need that fucking leech living off you. You're a tiger. You're stronger than I am. And when you set your mind on doing something, you do it better than anybody. <gasps> Killer with kindness. That was like a really good, like, you got this. Yeah. It's okay. You got this. They put Artie Piscano, the underboss of KC, in charge of making sure nobody skimmed the skim. No records, Artie. What are you going to do with records? Pay taxes? Remember it turned out Phil Green, Mr. Integrity, had a partner nobody knew about, and when she showed up, Green tried to stonewall her. So she sued him in court. The court will now hear the matter of the plaintiff, Anna Scott, against Tangiers Corporation. Secret partners are the worst. Green has to open up the books, has to show how he got the financing. But before she could start counting her money, the boys back home decided to settle the case out of court instead. No blood, huh? It was a small caliber gun. Like a little 22 or something. So I had to start giving interviews to make sure everybody knew the casino was on the up and up. So day to day, then you're the boss. Well, in a sense, you could say that I am the boss when Mr. Green is away. A gaming control board investigation of Tangier's executive Sam Rothstein's application for a gaming license is underway. Is a boyhood friend of Las Vegas mob boss Nicky Santoro could lose his ability to work in the casino. Oh. Can't change titles anymore. It's impossible. It's booked up and you got to make a reservation. It's very difficult to get in. Well, it's okay. I'll use the service entrance. I'll see it. We're talking in code. Connections. Will Sam Rothstein's friendship with alleged organized crime figure Nikki Santoro keep Uh oh. If you don't have my money for me, I'll crack your fucking head wide open in front of everybody in the bank. <laughs> I'll be there in the morning. You can fucking try me, fatso. You fucking try me. <laughs> you gonna get his money back? All of a sudden, you're the shoulder to cry on? Did you at least tell her about your little role in that whole situation? No, I didn't. Well, go with that, dude. That's not the fucking Listen. point. <laughs> <laughs> you're the trailer. A casino boss and his wife were killed. 
the Bulls question Nikki. They found a guy's head in the desert. Do you know about that? Yeah, I heard, yeah. yeah. Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> I know. You gotta tell them to take care of things a little better. Bury them deeper. <laughs> The FBI watched every movie made, but he didn't care. He just didn't care. If you're gonna watch me, fuck him. I'm gonna watch him right back. <laughs> I, I had my license hearing coming up, and I didn't want to leave anything to chance. Years ago, and it was simple gambling. Is he gonna get his license? I don't know. If that commissioner's still pissed, then no. Where's this fucking guy gonna land? In fairway? Looks like it. The feds were watching Nikki play golf for so long they ran out of gas. <laughs> Hundred dollars, whoever hits the plan. And as if they... <laughs> Otherwise, they're gonna make a fool out of you. They make a fool out of me. I write it all down in this book. Every fucking nickel that goes down right hey. here. And what happens next? I mean, who the hell would believe that the FBI had a wire in the place? <laughs> Fucking Nancy brings us back two suitcases from the Tangiers, and what about three or four? We got nobody in the room to watch. Whoopsie. Big mouth. Big mouth. But how do you know? They could all be in on it together, those miserable fucks. I'll find out. That's Polly's mom. Is it? I think so. His aunt or his mom? <laughs> yes. Oh, it is, yeah. I, I thought it kind of looked like her. Back and forth, back and forth. Take it easy. Guys. All right, all right. But I get I, a heart attack. You know, like I'm that. too upset. <laughs> they go and hear all the stuff about Las Vegas and the casinos and suitcases, and that's it. Hey, he's got a big mouth. Spilling the beans. Mr. Chairman. Aye. 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 The ayes have it. This hearing is adjourned. Hearing was to determine whether someone with Rothstein's checkered personal history was qualified to officially hold a top. He pissed off the wrong guy. Mm -hmm. What's the matter with him making all this mess? Maybe he could run things with another job title. <laughs> what job title would you give him? Uh, yeah, director of sanitation. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the new entertainment director. Isn't he supposed to be staying quiet? He's the entertainment director. Let's not take County Commissioner Pat Webb too seriously. I recently challenged him to a debate on this program and he declined. You can ask me anything you want. What the hell is he doing on television anyway? <laughs> Go see him. Tell him maybe it's time he should quit. I don't know. That's I would all forget that about saying. the maneuver. I would just get out. He's not going to get out. You see, if a phone's tapped, the feds can only listen in on the stuff involving crimes. The old, you can only listen for so long. Nicky couldn't even go for a ride without changing cars at least six times before he could shake all his tail. Just always follow a Cadillac, right? Yeah. They're always driving Cadillacs. That was a problem. You want me to get out of my own fucking town? Yeah, I said, let, let the bullshit blow over for a while so I can run the casino. Anything goes wrong. They don't want you running the casino anymore. He doesn't, he is not. He's not picking this up. Don't ever go over my fucking head again, you motherfucker, you. His Midwest accent, gone when he's yelling. Yeah. Look at this fucking butte they put in now. Sherbert sent you in here to rob me now. He's not supposed to be in the casinos. Take this dip and pound it up your fucking ass. Hit me again. Hit me again. What the fuck you keep looking at him for? You? <laughs> look, look in my eyes. You know me. Do you see anything in these eyes that makes you think I would ever let someone in your condition take my child away from me? How her eyes were fully bright and his was only one visible because of the shadows. Mm. Mrs. Sam Rothstein, please. I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Rothstein have checked out already. I know she's there. Don't fuck around. I'm not uh, Sam. I wouldn't, wouldn't do it. Yeah, no, I, do I, this I. You dye your hair. You get plastic surgery, like we talked about, right? Just take your face off. Put it with somebody else's face. 
You shut up. No, you you want me to come over? I'll smack your face. And give me your shit. That means he's sending some guys over here, probably right now. Ginger, it means he's sitting by the phone like a dumbbell. Wait. <laughs> You're driving me nuts! Yes, on the passenger side. And I'm sending this kid to Bolivia in a fucking box. What a winner. She's a, calling what Mickey what to couple. back her up. Great song. We're going to want to open that garage door. I made some mistakes and I spent some money. How serious? It's, uh, it's under 25. It's under 25,000? And the rest of the two million is still there? Yeah, yeah, I got the rest. Okay, no big deal. That's okay. Do you think she spent more than that? Yeah. We should get a Cadillac. I, right? Yeah. Like, I was just thinking that, like, I think maybe we, should, we gotta get a Cadillac. Good old classic car. Just yeah. got a good classic look to it. Yeah. Cadillacs are expensive, though. Yeah. 25000 for three suits? That doesn't make much sense. First of all, he's not gonna wear $1,000 suits. I mean, how could you get fitted that fast? I can't get fitted that fast. I pay twice as much. I bought him a watch, too. And then all the cocaine. <laughs> So, counting the watch, let's say another 4000 for expenses over the weekend. Hey, sweet pea. What are you doing? I need some milk. You need some milk? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with your tongue? What do you got going on with your tongue? Mm -hmm. You should be sleeping. Yeah. You don't feel good. I, w I was sleeping. Mm. You were sleeping, and then you woke up because you needed some milk? Yeah. Is your sister awake, or is she sleeping? I'm sleeping. Okay, stop playing with your nipples. <laughs> Don't you drip down. <laughs> Don't. Such a weirdo. Alright, should we get some milk, and I'll get you a little bit more medicine? Yeah. Okay, let's go do it. Love you. More heavy. If you would have stayed with Amy, and you would have ran away, you would have been fucking dead, both of you. Dead. Dead. It's gonna make her feel good she came back, huh? She's got a nice car and a nice coat. She gonna sell that. She was not going very long. She can't try to kill him right now. It's like when we fight. <laughs> <laughs> You always come crawling back. <laughs> We've never even thought, really. <laughs> like, you think about it. Like... Here's a beeper. I want you to keep it on you. The original beeper. What? I was just... what? No. That 80s hair. Oof. It's brutal. You don't take a guy's kitten and I take didn't. off. <laughs> I didn't. I mean, I did, but then I did exactly what you told me. Uh, right, you did. I'll take care of you. Yes, I will. That's what you wanted, yeah. isn't it? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> She's the worst. Is he actually gonna take care of her? I don't fucking know. For a blowjob, definitely. You didn't answer your people. I threw it away. <laughs> so who'd you go to lunch with? With Jennifer. Where'd you go? To the Riviera. Okay. I want you to call Jennifer, and I want you to tell her to tell you what you had for lunch, and I'm going to listen in on the other line. Oh, jeez. I know you were with somebody. Who was it? And this, this is how she backed them off. You hear what I'm saying, right? I know, you don't have to tell me that. She's got People bruises have. all over the little guy, he wouldn't be fucking the Jew's wife, would he? Because if he is, it's a problem. 
What could I say? It's a sandwich. Jesus Christ. What gun? He's got a fucking hero sandwich here. What do you want? It's, it's pitch black out pitch here. Black. It's tin foil. It looks like a fucking gun. You fucking... Nikki's crew got stoned one night and they started shooting up the cops' houses. All because of a hero sandwich. No, I get it, yeah. That's why I keep my hero sandwiches in the bag until I'm in the house. Right. The feds brought in lip readers. Nikki found out about it from a teller who ordered money. He asked me again about you and the Jew's wife. Walk, walk, walk. You know, but you know what I want you to do? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Dominic said they're in the motel. Yeah, either they're in the fucking bank. I don't know. They're all over the joint. Were they picking all that conversation up with little sound guns? I don't know. Ginger? Amy? Amy, open the door. I can't. I tried. What happened? Who did this to you? Mommy. The fuck? She didn't know who to turn to. to. Irish she, bitch. she didn't know where to turn. She's trying to save your marriage. Yeah, Nikki, By tying on. her daughter up? This doesn't make any sense. Calm. Be nice. Don't fuck up in here. Why? This is so fishy. What the hell? That's our child. Are you out of your fucking mind? Just for a little while, Sam. The babysitter wasn't there. I don't fucking <laughs> Gonna I should be out for a little while. I mean, she was asleep. I was gonna be right Listen back me. before she even woke up. I'll fucking kill you in this place. Get up and go home I'm right now. You. Mother of the year. Billy, listen, I'll explain to you later. Just, you got a gun at home. Yeah, bring it over here right away. Okay, right away. He doesn't have a gun in the house? If you would have just kept your fucking mouth shut. Ah, what the fuck is the use? I should have never gotten. <laughs> I don't need you. I get my own fucking money. I'm going to the FBI. I'm not scared anymore. All right. Be careful. Fuck with me. <laughs> All right. Be careful. Have a good night. See you later. Take it easy. What you do? I mean, she threw herself at you, right? Women. Crazy woman. Not women, just a crazy woman. So, so, women. Don't look at me. I'm not crazy. Not crazy like that. I'm just surprised he didn't have a gun. She's back. the days before airbags when you could ram cars out of anger i am not you're gonna be sorry if you don't don't stop you that. threaten me neighbor. don't you threaten me <laughs> hey 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 if she calms down i will let her i am else. calm if she no, calms i am calm are you watching for him? I got him. She's got the lockbox keys. Can't take that stuff. Half of everything is mine. Half, I'm coming down. And here, here. Maybe I can't. No, you can't. You can't. I can't. That's the best. She's on the account. There's nothing we can do. Let's pull her over at that sicko station. Okay, let's do it. Now she's arrested by the feds. They had all the pieces they needed. And everybody began to tumble. One after the other, just like dominoes. Paradise. We managed to really fuck it all up. <laughs> well, that casino is shut down. Piscano's expense reports took the cake. Oh, this is good. Bingo. He might as well have given him a fucking blueprint. <laughs> Whoops. Your Honor, as you can see, my clients are elderly and infirm. Any incarceration could pose a serious... <laughs> is that an act? <laughs> it's totally important. It's I gotta have a conversation with that guy. House of Cards is crumbling down. Uh, 
Oof. After they found a body, I had a private doctor do another autopsy. He said they gave her a hot dose. So they made her OD on purpose? Mm-hmm. No matter what the feds or the papers might have said about my car bombing, it was amateur night, you could tell. They put the dynamite under the passenger side. Was that that model car was made with a metal plate under the driver's seat. It's the only thing that saved my life. Fucked around. I mean, what's right is right. They don't give a fuck about it. Ah! <laughs> Two bats. <laughs> He's getting more hits than Pete Rose. <laughs> Put the hit out on him. Was it Nikki? They had other ideas for me. The family did, huh? It's crazy that they just blow up the buildings when they're done. It's like, uh, eh, how Time much did Dick's Custer build a couple years ago? We're going to build something new. Just blow it up. Technically, they implode it. It's, no. Yeah. They don't blow them up. They blow them in. Not sure. Probable, maybe questionable. All right, well, let me know as soon as you can find out. Just going back to a regular bookie, huh? And that's that. I should get some glasses like that. Oh, that was, and that's that. All right. Well, that's that. That's that. All right. Well. Well, who's the most to blame for that all going shit? The wife. Think so? Yeah. Maybe Nikki. Yeah. The combo between the two. <sighs> a woman getting in the, in the middle. Yep. It's always the fucking Ruining it all. <laughs> Ruining a childhood friendship. Yeah. Business dealings. All of that. I think it's the Nikki because he just kept... Getting in bigger and bigger I mean, trouble. The, I think the, getting the feds interested. The great part about this is that they each played a yeah. role, right? Sam's character, Sam did also because he yeah, didn't, you know, didn't get his license give favors and then, to the locals. yeah, exactly. Yeah. He should have just given the favor and he would have gotten his license and it wouldn't have had to go like that. Yeah. Just had to keep Joe, Joe Bob Briggs working, employed him, yeah. put so, him in the kitchen. Any kind of job. Yeah. Didn't, they didn't have to worry about trust. Right? Bummer. Could have, you know, ran the valet or something. Exactly. Actually, I thought... The valet seemed the like valet the, was the, kind of the keys an of the important kingdom, important right? Part, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, what did you think? It was good. It was good. Yeah? Yeah. How would you compare it to Goodfellas? Mm, they were so similar. Yeah. This was more business, I feel like, than the other one was more mob, right? Yeah. This, I mean, this was more more legit with the gambling get, part of it was yeah. yeah more legitimate I guess at the end of the day crazy woman just ruined it all for everyone yeah. crazy women I don't know I like this one because it was in Vegas which is just different than most other mob movies that yeah. we have seen anyways who would you rather run into Joe Pesci in this movie or Joe Pesci in Goodfellas they're both crazy Right? I mean, both. What are you talking about? And Goodfellas, he was a fun guy. Yeah, super fun guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't want to run into either Joe Pesci version. Yeah. Has Joe Pesci ever played a nice guy? I don't think so. Yeah. Nothing that I've seen him in, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of Sharon Stone? She started off real hot and then got r the real The 80s coke haircut Oof, did not do her any justice. Yeah, it was rough for her. Yeah. Yeah. 70s hair was the best. The feathered... Feathered hair. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. All the volume. So much volume. And uh, De Niro, back as well. Good fellas. He was mostly a calm guy. Yeah. Um, 
she made him crazy. Mm-hmm. He just wanted to have a family and mm-hmm. just do work. Yeah. yeah. I liked that he was like a gangster turned like. Legit. Yeah. he. Yeah. I mean, he was kind of not fully legit, but kind of legit. Like he just wanted to run a really successful business. Yeah. He was just giving <laughs> his cut. Right? Yeah. And most of it was legitimate because he was. In Vegas, where all that stuff's legal, mm-hmm. he's just skimming a cut just off. Just a for guy the, that's really mom. good at his job. Yeah. yeah, he's almost a sure thing when it comes to betting. Apparently, it's crazy. Pick his horses. Exactly. All right. All right. Well, this, this this movie just makes me want to go to Vegas. I know. Me too. That's yeah. uh, literally, literally at the end, I was like, man, I just really want to go to Vegas now. Yeah, throw our money away. And... No, I don't like gambling. Oh, uh, you just want to go see the Celine Dion again? I see. Eh. Yeah, it'd be nice to just. I mean, just the. I don't know why. It seems fun. Okay. Even I'll, when you're not gambling, it's You've been there. Fun. I've never been there, so... I'll have to go. Yeah. Well, what else is on your mind after Casino? I guess, where does this rank in most people's yeah, like, Scorsese, mobster uh, Scorsese movies, yeah, right? Where does it rank in your sca- Scorsese rankings? Like, is it up there? Where does it rank in your mafia movie yeah. rankings, right? What game would you want to play if you went to Vegas? Honestly, I don't know how to play most of those games. Blackjack's the only one I might know well, how to play. What's the one that looks like the most fun? Just to I don't even know. What, ride. I don't even know what craps is. Okay. Is that the dice game? I think so. I think craps is the dice. And I think then roulette's there's fun. roulette, but I that it's, just seems like really. It's just the solar system. No. Yeah. Um. There's that's like definitely just a game of chance. It's like flipping a fucking coin. No, it's. Every number has the same equal chance of it landing on it. It's just really weird. You can pick either. How that's a game. You can pick the numbers, which has the best payout if you land it. Or you can pick a color. Or you can pick a whole bunch of different numbers. Yeah, I understand the concept. I just don't know why you would want to play it. Picking a color is 50-50. Right. So. I also don't understand, like, the odds sort of thing. Like, you bet $500 on red and... You get red. What do you get back? I think you get your thousand. money back. I think you get a thousand. You double your money. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Right. Well, you just have to look it up. I'm sure all the rules to the games are online. Rolling dice is also fun though, because you, you feel it in yeah. your hands. How do, you what do you it. like to do? Rolling the dice, <laughs> letting it go. How do? What's the most successful way to roll the dice? Two hands. Yeah. <laughs> Two hands. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Somebody save us here. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You're the one who asked me to do it. I want to see how you roll the dice. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Casino. It was long. Maybe it didn't need to be that long. All Scorsese movies are three hours long. Yeah. He makes an epic out of it. Don't know why they need to be that long, but it was good. He's got a lot to tell. Lots of dialogue. Yeah. Lots of dialogue. Lots of dialogue. Yeah, it's like dialogue from... Start to There's finish. There's almost no breathing room. Yep, no breathing room. Yeah. So, yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full commentary access to polls, up spin we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Wait, what are you rolling the dice? Bye.